Hi everybody, and welcome to Josiah is Right. So even the best of us will have issues with our dads, even great dads, you're gonna have some level of issue. However, these dads, if they were your dad, you'd be drowning in oceans of issues. I present to you the 10 worst dads in all of sci-fi and fantasy movies. Before we begin, these dads are only from sci-fi and fantasy. If we had dads like the Colonel from American Beauty, those guys would dominate the list as drama. It's a lot about parenting issues, so we're just gonna stick to sci-fi and fantasy. 10, James T. Kirk. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Not the worst dad of the cosmos, but certainly the most absent. A man who didn't care he had a son until he lost a friend. The result, a wonderful, realistic, though thoroughly awkward hug. Nine, George McFly, the Back to the Future trilogy. A dad who, in the original timeline, has no backbone, and then crosses the line to becoming a total jerk in the altered timeline. No wonder Lorraine fell in love with her son and settled on someone who vaguely reminded her of him. Last night, Darth Vader came down from Planet Falcon and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. Yeah, well, uh, let's, let's just keep this brain-melting stuff to ourselves, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Eight. Henry Jones, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. A man who seems to care for his son, but he doesn't seem to like him very much. A tough man, more concerned with his quest for the Holy Grail than listening to his son. Also, he smashed a vase over his head. At least it was fake. Oh, another example of bad fathering. 7. Zeus, the Clash of the Titans. I care about my son just enough to give him a sword, a shield, and a steampunk owl, but not enough to stop the other Greek gods from totally screwing with him for the next two hours. And also, release the Kraken. 6. Bilbo Baggins, The Fellowship of the Ring. Not technically Frodo's dad, and overall, a pretty good surrogate father. After all, Frodo got Bag End out of it, but he also got a ring that was forged in the fires of Mount Doom and pretty much contains all of the evil in Middle-earth in a tiny little round ring. Oh, and he has that weird evil demon golem face thing? That's pretty creepy. Five, Ego, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume Two. The most current edition on this list, his name says all you need to know about him. It's all about him, to the point of killing hundreds, if not thousands, maybe millions of his own kids, who just weren't good enough, terrible fathering, if there ever was. My name is Ego, and I'm your dad, Peter. Four, Kyle Reese, the Terminator. Your son is your mentor, so here... Already, things are pretty complicated, but Kyle also brings bucket loads of PTSD to the situation. If you include the most recent version, which you shouldn't, he's now whiny and annoying to top things off. So much so, that I won't even use a clip of it. So Reese is crazy? In technical terminology, he's a loon. 3. Darth Vader, The Empire Strikes Back. He cuts off his son's hand and tries to kill him. That's a bad dad. He would have killed him at that moment because if Luke wasn't able to survive this assault, he wasn't even worthy of what his father was offering. Hey, at least he offered to join up and overthrow the Empire, ruling the galaxy as a father and son. Maybe not all bad after all. Maybe he would even redeem himself in the next movie. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. No. No. It's not true. That's impossible. No! No! 2. James Potter, the Harry Potter series. Here, you have a dad who seems to love his kid, genuinely, but I think Snape had this one right. He is a total jerk, and frankly, I don't see what Lily saw in him. Just like I don't see the whole Hermione Ron thing, that's just me. And I think most of the world, even J.K. Rowling at this point. He's a bigger jerk than alternate timeline George McFly. Until the end. 1. Tyrell, Blade Runner. Being a total weirdo doesn't help, and an utter madman. A man who loves to have the power to create his children, but doesn't love them enough to give them life beyond the internal death clock they have built in. 
the absolute epitome of terrible dad. And also, he's just as creepy in The Shining, so maybe it's just the actor and less the character. I don't know. If he was my dad, I'd probably gouge his eyes out too. Those are 10 pretty bad dads. So tell me, who should not be included on this list? Who should be added? Did I miss anybody? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, tell me which dads did I miss and which dads did I get dead on right. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, Josiah is right about being a bad dad. I hope not.